In this video, we're gonna show you how to pair up the emitter and sensor so we can start using the LV5 for high-speed photography. First, switch on the emitter. Then switch on the sensor. When you switch it on, the status LED blinks green every 3 seconds. Aim the laser to the sensor until the LED turns steady green. Now setup is complete and the equipment is ready to use. Bear in mind that the effective distance between the emitter and sensor is 150 meters in dark environment and 20 meters under strong and direct sunlight. Outdoor environments have high luminosity level and the brightness around the LV5 could affect laser detection. If you need to pair up the gear for outdoor shooting, please keep in mind that under bright sunlight, simply grab a black paper or cardboard to locate the laser beam and aim it to the sensor. If you are using the gear in environments other than a studio, you can find a hood especially useful to avoid unwanted triggerings, which will occur due to unknown light sources that might impede on the detection of the laser beam. Here's a switch on the sensor that cannot be missed, delay and freeze. It is used mainly for high-speed photography, while the switch below is for choosing single shot and multi-shot. On the other side of the sensor, we will see the test button, which works just like the one on the Cactus V5. After you have connected a V5 transceiver to your camera with a shutter release cable, the test button on the LV5 can perform its functions. First, connect the shutter release cable to the Cactus V5 X sync port. Plug the other end of the cable to the camera's shutter release port. Make sure the V5 is set to the RX mode. Adjust both the V5 and the sensor to the same channel, but please be reminded to adjust the channel dial on the LV5 before switching on the sensor. After switching on the sensor, press the test button to confirm that it's connected to the V5, which in turn connected to your camera. If you have pressed the test button, the status LED will turn orange. Since the sensor works as a remote control, the camera will start focusing. At full press, the LED turns green, and the camera will take a shot. Stay tuned, we will be revealing more intriguing details on the functions of LV5, including delay and freeze in the coming episodes.